All right, number five mistake, Facebook marketing mistake that you're making is you're not split testing at all or enough. You need to be testing even things like an image versus a video, your copy, if you're gonna be using emojis or not, if it's short or long. Um, that's just on the ad. You should be split testing all over the place, right? Your website, your fun all over your funnel, you should be split testing. Always be testing. A, B, T. A, B, T. <laughs> That's right. Exactly. So, you know, this is something that in the world of marketing, it's, an, it's a part and parcel. It's inevitable. There's, not such, there's no such thing as one single campaign that you never have to do anything with. You got to split right. test audiences. You got to test audience A versus audience B. See which one performs better and scale the winning one. You got to test image A versus image B. See which one works better. It's not about being romantic about your own feelings. What do you think is a better looking image? And sometimes it's gonna end up being the worst looking uh, image when you look at the bulk of uh, people's reactions in general. Point. So surveying the data, you have the ability now to run something on Facebook, on Instagram, run an ad, and let Facebook tell you what people think about it by showing you the cost per result. Right. That's your birth best data right there. The lower the cost, the best of performance. Exactly. Audience, images, videos, copy can all be tested just by investing some advertising dollars and finding out what gives you the lowest cost per result. The one thing that I want you guys all to know about Facebook is that Facebook is a platform that rewards you for um, great content, high quality content, and for finding the correct audience. If you actually get a lower cost per result, it means that people are enjoying your content more. If you have a higher cost, it means that people are either tired of it or you're targeting the wrong audience and you need to make sure that you make the changes as fast as possible. So Facebook talks to you with the low uh, cost per result or the high cost per result is giving you an indication as to what you need to be doing. Find a new audience, test a new funnel, change your website, what you're, else? You're, you're ready for another can of worms? <laughs> There's a, there is a feature inside the ads manager where you can tick off a little button that says A-B split test. So it's as easy as that. And Facebook will run the, the test itself um, you know, automatically and, and it will split test the two different things that you want to test, such as the audience. And then I wanted to just repeat what Manuel said there because it's super important about Sometimes you get romantic about what you think is going to work or what you should work or the way, you know, maybe the image um, should be like this super, you know, uh, edited or super classy and, and whatever, right? Super fancy. And sometimes it's the other way around that works best. So just take your emotions out of it and just split test and run it. Run it. And that's always been our, our motto. Just let's see what the data says. That's kind of what we say around here, right? That's right. Your opinion is not as important as the opinion of your audience out there. Let Facebook show you what works and what doesn't work. Exactly. All right? That's right. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this content, please go ahead and like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel now. And leave us your comments down below so that we can get to them on the next episode.